Hello everybody, there are so many exoplanets out there that, well, who knows. This is K2, it's this it's planet is in Neptune is giant compared to Earth about this big compared to Jupiter it's about this big hmm doesn't it discuss does the comment if you down below if you think this guy gas giant seems pretty small for for one especially that you can literally see Florida right there. See? If you pay enough attention right there, you can actually see Florida. I think my, yeah, my home's this circle probably. I mean, it is. My home's in this circle probably. I mean, I home see this circle. Nice, right? I live in Florida. I know it's one of the most populated ones, but at least we don't have a lot of traffic. Okay, maybe we have a little bit. But not at least not at least it's not NYC bad. Yeah, that's just a that's that's just a comparison. Let's view it by itself. Nice, right? This star is four hundred and eighty light years away from Earth. There's Tea Garden Star. Ooh. I know probably like that. Well, I'm gonna have to play the song again. <laughs> Back to exoplanets. This is Tea Garden Star. An M type star. It's one of the closest stars to Earth. But it's only 12 light years away. <laughs> Do you remember it being the M star? Literally blocking. You know, just going literally right behind our sun and Uranus. This is it. I am going to have to talk with them. <laughs> Funny exoplanets again. This is Tea Garden and Star B. A potentially rocky world bigger than Earth. And here's C. I don't know. The hypothetical look is pretty similar, right? Right? Right, everybody? What are you doing? I'm getting dizzy! I'm doing Exoplanets 4. Yeah. The video's name is Exoplanets 4, in case if you didn't realize. Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool. Let's love you. Love you, Dad. Okay, next star is coming up.
Oh God. I'm one point six miles away. I'm literally in the atmosphere. Hmm. Just look. I don't there is there. I can't even remember. I can't even pronounce this star's name. Oh yikes! Let's compare it to our solar system. It has one planet, one deep water. It's habitable so It's literally orbiting past the orbit of Neptune, and it's a gas giant. Oh, yikes, that's the size of Jupiter? Huh, this can't be a planet! If it's so far away! Um, prob I'm probably just kidding. Just kidding. TFC, why does it have such a random name? Like. Hmm! Why? Let's compare it's Star to our sun. Now that is. Now that is. Something, right? Comment down if you believe it's near the end. Near. If this star's planet is. Near the edge of this star's gravitational field. Or SOI. Spear of influence. Whatever it is. I know, just doing some airplane looking. Hmm. There's so many stars here. Tap Andromeda? Hmm. 163 likes. It's a B type star? For everybody. That's nice. But compared to our sun, it's just a little bigger. It's just like a few times. It's you, oh, and you can do a few times. It's, it's literally why it's never guessed right. Something mostly out there. Hmm. Yep. Looks so good. Here's a K type star. But it has one planet orbiting it pretty irregularly. <laughs> it's a potentially rocky world larger than Earth. There has to be something in this. Hmm. Wait, what?
37? That is a win. This really, really have to end this video. And I'm just kidding, but I'm gonna have to use that. Fine. What you can continue the last few minutes to me. After I get out of here. What, Mom? Well, guys, seems like. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? No, it's working. Oh. The last system. Mm. Ooh, Kepler seven forty two. Here, see potentially rocky world larger than Earth, and another, and and this time, a, the B is a Neptune like ice time. Remember the only word we discovered so far. Closest to focus to guys. That's why you're seeing something that looks actually a little weird. Don't just go back to the stove! Bye bye. 570 light years from <laughs> the